Hey everyone, Laminate Stasis here, and I just wanted to do my post commentary before the game started this time because there's not really like a loading screen you can wait on. As opposed to the other games where it's just like, here's a game, this one is more of an experience. It's you're in a car, you're in the back seat, you're driving somewhere, don't really have any kind of knowledge as to where, and I start making up stories near the end as to what I'm doing. But it just goes, oh, it's because it's an experience. You get into this this creepy tune, you're riding in the back of a car, and you get to kind of just sit there and soak this atmosphere in. So this is the last game I'm doing from the dev chat, uh, bundle pack, the ghost wheel pack. If you want to see the other games, make sure to head over to my friend's channel, Tall Messenger and uh, King Coward. King Coward found this, so huge props to him. This has been a great experience going through these games. These are fantastically put together. As I read, it was a day and a half all these games got made in, and that's just phenomenal. So, without further ado, I present Prowl. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the last game I'm looking at in the uh, dev chat uh, ghost wheel bundle. Now this one's called Prowl. We are listening to some some funky awesome jazz. We're kind of checking out what's going on. Apparently we're just driving in a car. Can I open my window? Whoa, we can. Can we look out here? And I think that for the most part, that jazz is very eerie. The mood, the atmosphere is phenomenal. I don't think... So, this, like I said, this is the last in the bundle of what I'm playing. I played Ghost and Spooky Ghost Wheel Town before this. And now we're just kind of checking out Prowl. And unlike the other two, which seemed like they took like a basic game concept and made it really quick and damned the graphics and everything, this one, it looks like they decided, I just want to put this person in the back of a moving vehicle, and I want them to look at creepy things, and listen to really scary, cool music. And this is the work. You can see back behind me, because of the red, I like the things appear on the side, because there's no lighting there. We've got our headlights up front, showcasing these creepy, creepy staircases. Something terrible gonna happen to me by the end of this? Because I feel like something terrible is gonna happen. Maybe not. Maybe it's just I'm riding in a creepy car. Let's, let's put the window back up. You go away, scary noises. But yeah, so this is my third game of this. This was the one that kind of caught my attention when I was looking at the screenshots, and I was like, because it's got the pretty graphics, and I was like, oh, what's this? But it's cool, actually. Um. Uh, Shadows move across. What's there? God damn it. I'm spooking myself. Can I get that one up? Uh, that's too far away. So, I was pretty excited to do this one. I can't. No, I can't get that either. Let's play with our window. I'm like a little kid in the back of the seat. I can't decide. Hey, do I want it up? Do I want it down? Do I want it up? Do I want it down? Now I'm going uh, wait, did I just see rain inside the car? I saw rain inside the car. This is atmospheric as hell. This is adorable. The song choice fits the mood. And just, you can tell that what this game director seemed to want to do, at least in my opinion, what it seems to me is they wanted to set an atmosphere. And this does that super well. Like, I'm, I'm nervous and nothing's happened! I'm, I'm a big wuss when it comes to horror games, but hell, like, this is very atmospheric. This is awesome. And again, I don't think there's any more to the game. But that's the whole point of this. Was, I was reading it, and this, they did say it took a day and a half to make this game in the Unity engine at a game jam. A day and a half. We got this. This is awesome. This is artistic. This is cool. 
this is a cool soundtrack, and I even have the, annota the annotation for the soundtrack in the files that came with this, which is nice. So that'll be posted. But we're gonna, we're gonna kind of let this play out. See if there's anything else that happens. We're gonna see if like the song ends and something happens, and I'm not expecting it to. Wait, I'm not expecting it to. But this is just this is a little ride down a dark alley. You know, I'm, I'm kind of getting like almost like a crime noir feeling. Not so much horror as in like maybe I'm I'm a detective in a taxi on the way to my next crime. Or see, Ron, we're off to find the person who murdered this girl. The girl was my ex lover's best friend. We're gonna, we're gonna find him. We're gonna bring him to justice. Hard boiled detective. Or, you know, this could also be the intro to a horror game. We're like, ah, we're moving to our new house, kids. Don't, no, don't, don't worry. It's not spooky and creepy out. The new house is totally safe. I mean, you know, a whole family died there, but it was super cheap. What else? What else could we be right now? We could be, you know, we could just be some poor Joe who just got dumped by his girlfriend on this slow, horrible taxi ride home, contemplating everything. Just like, I don't know. Maybe when I get home, I'm gonna kill myself. 